Hello YouTube, Chrissy here at A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you've been around my channel for a while, you've seen several videos like this already where I create invitations. So I either set up a table spread or recently we're enjoying these stations where I lay out resources and materials with an activity already in mind. And so it'll inspire the children to use these materials to learn through play. So in today's video, I am sharing seven invitation to math ideas. The first setup is a table spread of materials for Bella to create her first multiplication flower. I will be sitting next to her creating one so that she can follow along. We're starting with multiples of two and move on to 12 over the next few weeks. We will eventually bind her work together into a main lessons book. The next setup is to follow up with more multiplication practice. And the idea for this activity is the understanding that multiplication is just repeated addition of groups of the same size. So here we're just trying to make that connection between multiplication and addition. So using our Grimm's Large Stepped Pyramid, this multiplication tables chart that Bella created herself, um, and some watercolor number chips that we've created together. So using all these materials combined, Bella is going to physically build these connections between addition and multiplication. And because multiples of two are just doubles in addition, I'll have her review out loud these doubles flashcards we created together just last week. And finally, to review, she'll step over to our computer station to complete a few minutes of math seeds, also known as reading eggs. I've also put out musical multiplication for any of the kids to open it up and play the music on the laptop. If you don't know about Musical Multiplication by The Good and the Beautiful, it's a program to memorize multiplication tables through 12, uh, through sweet jingles and these booklets all inspired by nature. Over here on our oval rug, I've set up two activities for my Noah.
The first is inspired by this worksheet uh, out of a The Good and the Beautiful Old Math K curriculum. I kept this page because we loved these rhymes so much to memorize the spelling of number words 1 through 10. So I'll call out a number and Noah will pick up that respective number out of these sum blocks number blocks. Then we're going to recite the jingle together and using our wooden alphabet, Noah will spell out the number word. Five. F-I-V-E. Five little fingers wave at me. F. The next invitation is to graph. You might recognize this chalkboard that we use a ton, uh, but we love it. It's double-sided, uh, lined on one side for handwriting, and then uh, this graphed side for math. So I've quickly made up this key for Noah to sort and graph this bowl of animal figures. And this could be done with all sorts of loose parts that you may have laying around, uh, loose parts collected from the outside like leaves and twigs and rocks. It could be done with toys, uh, as a scavenger hunt, basically with anything that you may have laying around the house. And so now I can choose to do this several ways using just the animals to graph, the, just the chalk uh, filling in each graph square, or he can choose to do both. Amphibians have. Six. So which one's less? Which category has the less? Amphibians. Amphibians. Forest animals. Mm -hmm. Sea creatures. Mm -hmm. Turtles. I mean reptiles. Reptiles. And dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. And then which one has the most? This activity was such a hit that I ended up modifying it with nature loose parts and set up one for Bella as well. So here's another setup for my preschooler on another piece of nugget. We love using these as chairs and tables and couches and lounge areas in our homeschool. I found this sweet vintage counting book We'll read through numbers 1 through 12 for number identification and numeracy. There's sweet riddles about mice, baking mice, farming mice, grandma mice, uh, jam making mice. And to continue on with this mice theme, I've also set out her little set of My Lai Mice. Uh, these are just sweet little uh, toys of a mouse family and we have little potties and cribs and high chair, bathtubs, cooking ware. And she can act out the riddles that we've just read or she can just play. The next math activity I've laid out for her is this tray for making or building patterns. Uh, these blocks and strips are from, again, an old, the good and the beautiful math curriculum. And so I'm going to encourage her to continue making the pattern or to remake it. Pattern activities are easy to create with just about anything that you may have lying around the house. 
Eventually, this is also going to turn into play with stacking and building the little wooden cubes, and that's exactly what I want. The last math setup is for simple addition using 10 frames and this could be either for Noah or Luna, whoever is drawn to it. So we'll be utilizing another thrifted book. Uh, this 10 frame uh, or doubles 10 frame I created on cardboard and some of our DIY fall inspired math manipulatives. So I'm going to encourage the child to copy and solve the addition equations on each page of the book. And so this activity doesn't just cover basic addition, but it's also great for one-to-one -one correspondence, a number quantity slash numeracy. And if we were to pair these with a small pair of tongs or tweezers or a scoop, it could also be doubled as a fine motor activity. All right, friends, I hope that you've been able to gather several ideas from today's video. I've created a playlist of videos similar to this one of invitations to learn. So go check out that playlist. It'll be linked in the description box down below. If you'd like for me to continue to share these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, I'd love to know what you do in your homeschool to make math living and make math fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for your love.